All right, it's up, money fam. Welcome back to my channel. So today I got not one, not two, not three, but five penny stocks for you to add to your watch list. So if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a like as well. As always, before I get started, remember that this video is for edutainment purposes only and I'm not a financial advisor. All right, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get right into it. So the first penny stock we're talking about is the Tosa Therapeutics, ticker symbol ATOS. So since it's kept down in early December, a Tosa stock price has climbed from around 90 cents to highs last week of over $2.06. So why was there a drop in the first place? As we know, public companies use the markets to raise money. In this case, Atosa announced a $20 million offering but at a steep discount to the current trading levels at the time. December's drop wasn't a result of bad data or anything like that, but simply the market's reaction to a heavily discounted financing round. However, with fresh capital in hand, Atosa continued executing its plan. The company targets breast cancer and more recently, the Roni Rona virus. The company has a phase 1 study to see the efficacy of its drug, AT301. This is a nasal spray that can be taken at home by those suffering from the Roni Rona virus. Dosing is complete and data output is expected this month. According to the company, its preliminary assessment is that AT301 nasal spray was safe and well tolerated in this study. Atosa explained that these results support advancing this program into a phase 2 study. In December, the company submitted a pre-IND meeting request with the US FDA. Aside from the potential AT301 results, Atosa plans to begin the initial clinical study of ATH201 this quarter as well. This is the company's treatment to improve compromised lung function for moderate to severely ill hospitalized Roni Rona patients by inhalation. Atosa has already filed provisional patent applications on ATH201 to treat Roni Rona patients and AT301 to treat patients diagnosed with or to prevent Roni Rona via nasal spray. For those of you who have watched my earlier videos, you know we got into this one and it was only 95 cents, so we got in pretty early. Alright, so the next penny stock I'm talking about is Transenterics Inc, ticker symbol TRXC. So since late July, shares of TRXC stock have climbed by roughly 845%. Year to date, shares have climbed by over 550% to highs this week of $4.44. This is a massive jump and definitely hasn't been ignored. But investors should also be realistic about how long these bullish gains can go on without at least some consolidation coming into play. In the case of Transenterix, the company has a lot going on for it right now. In the past few days, we've seen shares of TRXE bounce up and down quite a lot. One of the major catalysts for this is the European approval for its Intelligent Surgical Unit, or ISU as it is known. As a biotech company, Transenterix makes its revenue off of approved products. The fact that it was given this approval is a big deal for Transenterix. Now and moving forward, this device is utilized in laparoscopic procedures. And if it sounds too specific, more than 6 million of these procedures occur in the US and Europe yearly. Intelligent systems can do this fairly straightforward procedure and the demand remains very high. In addition to this, we see that Friday, the US Patent and Trademark Office granted the company a patent titled Endoscopic Control and Maneuvering System in at least 2 degrees of freedom. While the company didn't release any press around this milestone, it looks like at least a few traders have found the same thing that we did. Heading into the next week, it'll be interesting to see how the market reacts. Okay, on to the next penny stock, we have Sensionic Holdings, ticker symbol SENS. So the company produces glucose monitoring devices that are used by diabetic patients. Its product pipeline includes the CGM system, Eversense, Eversense XL and others. These devices were primarily sensor-based and can be inserted under the skin. They also utilize a smart transmitter to send data regarding a patient's glucose level. On the market side of things, SENS shares have performed strongly this year. In the past month, shares are up by over 270%. In the past 6 months, that number jumps up to 425% plus. This could be another case of a biotech stock that is receiving bullish interest due to the industry's overall excitement. Sensionics has also announced some key updates recently. 
On Thursday, January 21st, the company increased its underwritten offering to bring in total gross proceeds of $100 million. The goal is to use this funding for general corporate purposes and product development, along with the funds needed to move through the various regulatory stages. With any biotech company, funding is the most important necessity for growth. These types of fundraising methods take place quite often, though shares slid as many do with news of the offering. Something to take notice of is Friday's aftermarket session. Shares actually rallied to highs of $2.70 before the final closing bell. Considering that the financing is set to close on or about January 26, 2021, Traders could be speculating on momentum now that Sensionix has a nine-figure funding under its belt for growth capital. So before I get to our last two penny stocks, please hit the subscribe button and the like as well if you haven't already so that it will really help this channel grow. On to the next penny stock, we have Biolace Inc, ticker symbol B-I-O-L. So this is one of the high volume penny stocks to watch recently. This dental laser company has repeatedly seen days of double-digit gains in the past few weeks, since September by over 280%. As a producer of medical devices, BioLace depends on the medical industry for its demand. When the Roni Rona virus hit, the focus was on necessary medical procedures, with dental work only resuming in the past few months. Now, Biolace has stated that dental procedures are occurring at almost 90% of their pre-pandemic levels. Of course, investors should also consider how volatile Biolace stock is and whether its massive rise can actually maintain in the future. Just a few weeks ago, the company announced an agreement with the Dental Care Alliance to expand the use of dental lasers around the US. The Dental Care Alliance has an affiliation with more than 330 practices across 20 states in the US. Because these lasers have high efficacy, adoption could occur on a fast-paced basis. Friday in particular, traders began focusing on BIOL after hours. This was thanks to a recent 8K filing showing that the reverse split BioLace sought approval for didn't receive enough votes to move forward at the last special meeting of the shareholders. The special meeting will reconvene on February 16, 2021. On to our last penny stock, Synthetic Biologics, Inc., ticker symbol SYN. Synthetic Biologics is a clinical stage biotech company developing several novel therapeutics. Its focus is on the gastrointestinal illness market, and it's working to meet otherwise unmet pharmaceutical needs. This includes its drug known as SYN004, otherwise known as Rebexamase. This is currently in trials to treat GI diseases. In an exciting announcement, Synthetic Biologics stated that the Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis approved the Phase 1b-2a slash clinical protocol relating to Rebexamase. This is an exciting announcement as it allows SYN to move on to the next stages of the approval process. Stephen Shawcross, CEO of Synthetic Biologics, stated that approval of the Phase 1b 2a clinical protocol by Washington University's IRB is an important step in pursuing a potentially more cost-effective development strategy for SYN004, targeting a highly specialized patient population. We expect to commence enrollment of patients in the first quarter of 2021 and look forward to providing further updates as we advance this exciting program. This was an exciting update for investors to consider. For biotech companies, announcements like these can show the market where a company is at in the various stages of approval. While the exact timeline moving forward remains to be seen, SYN could be one of the penny stocks to watch before the end of the month. So with that, here are my 5 penny stocks for you to add to your watch list. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to help this channel out and also drop this video a like. And with that, thank you and see you in my next video. Goodbye.